So hello and welcome to one of our life-changing stories from 3P in Africa. My name is Shelia Stevens and I have the great privilege today to speak with Martha, who is going to introduce herself in a few moments. Um, she's my friend. Martha and I, we chat every day on WhatsApp and Facebook and everything else. And we've been sharing our wisdom together um, in the last couple of weeks. And it's been just an amazing blessing. And we're recording this story today um, to share Martha's story. And she and I both hope that whoever is listening out there might come across this video that if they're in a darker place for whatever reason that we can't know, that they will find some hope in this video today um, because Martha's story is very, very hopeful. And um, she actually came across um, uh, a hopeful um, story online when, when, when she wasn't doing so well. So we know the power of this medium to, to get people. So, Martha, I'm going to let you start out, but just first of all, saying your name, um, where you live in the world, um, and just introducing yourself. That's where we're going to start it off. Okay. Thank you. My name is Martha Mora. I am 30 years old. I live with my grandfather in the orphanage called the Friendship Home in Homer Bay, Kenya. Homa Bay is near Lake Victoria, the largest lake in Africa. And uh, here at the orphanage, we have a total of 25 orphans. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful children. Like Martha sends me pictures of them that make my heart smile every time that I see them. Just beautiful, beautiful children. And Martha... Right now, like every time I talk to you every day, you're telling me you're so happy right now. You're in such a good place. And we like to start these stories off, though, kind of with the before story, like wasn't always like this. Like if you turn back the time machine um, five months ago um, when your daughter Hilda was born, you were in a different place. Yesterday, you sent me some photos of, the, of that time. And as much as you want to share, I just would love you to tell people like where you were at that time in your life, what had happened, um, your internal experience. Okay, thank you. I lost my dad due to liver cirrhosis. And my dad was uh, the breadwinner in our family. And uh, it was a big shock to us because he just uh, was admitted one night at the hospital and he passed. So after the burial, I'm the firstborn in my family. I have uh, studied uh, medical records, health records. But unfortunately, here in Kenya, getting a job is, is not easy. Unemployment rate is down, is low. I remember my mother called me in her room and told me, my daughter, this money was looted for your father's burial that remained. I want you to go to the city and try to look for a job so that you can support us here at home. After a week, I decided to go to the city in search of a job. And it was during my job search that I was raped and got pregnant. My life got into total confusion. I never knew what to do because I could not call my mother because my mother had great hopes in me. I was very confused and my, I saw my life was in darkness. I could cry and ask God, what am I supposed to do? I felt so unlucky and 
I, I, I saw like I was not worth living in this world. So one day, I decided to call my grandfather. My grandfather lives here in Homer Bay. He's a bishop. He is 83 years old, living with colon cancer. I decided to call my grandfather because I was fighting suicidal thoughts. And my grandfather told me, come, he sent me bus fare and I traveled. I was in a total confusion and my life was in darkness. And I could just sit alone, full of negative thoughts in my mind. I went, I, I, when I was due, I went through a C-section delivery because my hypertension was very high. And that broke me down completely because in Africa, when one goes through a C-section, she's seen as a weak woman and it's seen as a bad omen. When I was in the hospital, I wished I could die because my life was in darkness and there's nothing I could smile about. I was discharged and came back to the orphanage and I could call my friends for comfort and their response was very negative. They could tell me, you mean you went through a C-section? Oh my God, that's so dangerous. And I felt I was not worth living in the world. I was calling them because I was fighting suicidal thoughts in me. So I decided to just be alone with my phone. And one day, I was just scrolling my phone and I came across 3P in Africa, in Facebook. I wanted to know more about this and I texted Harry. And Harry responded back. We could have a meeting with Harry every Thursday. He was the only one I could speak to. I took him as my friend because every week on Thursday, when we could have a meeting, that could push me going. I could remember his teachings and that could push me going for the week. Harry taught me a lot about 3P. And when I started understanding, my life became more easy. I let go of the negative thought. Harry could tell me, look at that beautiful baby and smile, be happy about her. I decided to let go of the negative thoughts and embrace the positive thoughts. I remember his, he, 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 he told me an, an audio of Sydney Banks, which says, thought is like a paintbrush. When you paint it black, the result will be black. And I decided to paint my thoughts with beautiful thoughts so that the outcome could be beautiful. Since then, I have been very happy and my life has been easy because when I look at my little baby, I, I get happy.
Previously, I could look at her and ask myself, this baby is innocent. If I die, if I'm not here, who is going to breastfeed this baby? Who is going to breastfeed her? And I'm happy that now when I look at her, I see happiness. I want her to grow into a powerful woman who will share love and happiness to others. I'm very happy for the 3P. Now, I know all that takes to be happy. And now I'm sharing the 3P with the orphans here at the orphanage. Because when I share, I grow within. When I share, I feel happy. When I share love and happiness, I feel happy because I have been, I have, I, I have an experience of unhappiness. I know how it feels to be unhappy. I am very happy that I can now smile. <laughs> yeah, I can now smile and see the beautiful trees outside, beautiful people, because five months ago, I had nothing to smile about. Everything was sadness. I had nothing to smile about. I, I've also learned about love. Now I love myself. I love myself and loving myself has really helped me because when I love myself, I also love others. And my mother, I'm very happy now that I'm now uh, I'm now a 3P coach. I want to see other people happy because I know how it feels to be in darkness, total confusion. I know how it feels and I, I, I don't want anyone to pass through that because pure, purity of mind is pure love. Purity of thought is pure love. Purity of consciousness is pure love. And what I've realized is that the three principles are equal. They're all equal. And they are God gifts to us because without the three P, I could not be in this interview right here, speaking with my sister, Shailia. I'm very grateful for the three P principles. Yeah. 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 That's, um, it's just so beautiful. And I love you so much. Oh man, uh, that just, makes me so happy that you're feeling happy again. Oh, that makes me just so happy. Yeah. And you, your sharing is just beautiful. It's just deeply beautiful. And what I'm wondering is, Martha, if somebody out there is watching this interview or listening to this interview today, and they would, they've gone through something like you went through, or if they've had another type of struggle or they're thinking other dark thoughts or in another space, what would you want them to know to give them hope that this is not something that has to be forever? What would you tell them? I want to tell them that no situation is permanent in this world. And I want to tell them 
to let go of the negative thought in their mind and paint their mind with the positive thoughts in them. And I like to tell them that everyone has a wisdom within them. Everyone was born with a spiritual, is born with a spiritual wisdom. And when you have a problem, what you can do is be cool and let your inner wisdom within you speak to you and all will be well. And most importantly, the power of the three principles is very magical because when you feed your mind with positive thoughts, the outcome will be positive thoughts. Um, you will be happy. Yeah. 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 Very, very wise words. Very wise words. And I believe that God gave us these three principles to us as a gift because without the three principles, without the power of thought, you can't see creation. You can't see the beautiful hills. You can't see the beautiful, beautiful people. You can't see beautiful trees because your mind, if you feed your mind with negative thoughts, everything around you will be negative. Nothing will be beautiful in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. That's so good. So... Martha, for those out there who don't know you and they're just meeting you today, like maybe you can tell them like, what are your hopes for the future for yourself and for the orphanage for you talked about wanting to see your daughter become a strong woman. Like, what do you hope for yourself and also for the children at the orphanage just out of curiosity? Thank you. Our aim here at the orphanage is to see the children grow in happiness and godly and we are very happy for the three principles in africa because through the three principles their life will be happy and more easier and they will grow in happiness and they will share the knowledge with others and when they share the 3P knowledge will spread all over and people will be happy. Yes, because even the three principles help them with their studies. When they put the negative thoughts in them that this exam is going to be difficult, they will fail, but they always say, we are going to excel. This exam we are, is not difficult. It's just thought of mind. Let us say that we, we will excel. And they, they, since the three principles, their performance has really changed because of their mind set. Yeah. 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 And what is it? What about you? Like you said, I'm a 3P coach. I love this so much, Martha, because we've oh. been... We've been talking about that the last couple of weeks and um, yes. that you're you're sharing so beautifully. And, you know, I'm a coach and we just said you're a coach too. You're a coach already. And the way that you embrace that, that idea, that role inside of yourself, you told me recently, it's my spiritual knowing that I am capable of doing this. Um, and that is so empowering. So I don't know if you want to say a few words about that, because I want people out there too, to see their true potential as humans and what they can achieve. Right. Thank you. So, uh, my sister Shailia told me that I can be a coach and I went, sat down alone 
quiet mind and I wanted my inner wisdom to speak to me. And the answer that I got is to believe in myself. I, I am a great coach and I was happy for that because I want to share happiness and love to others. I want people to be happy because happiness is free. Many people don't know that. I never knew that. I want them to be happy in life and their life will be more easier. When they understand the power of the three principles, they will understand more about love and happiness. And a lot of people are, I, I, I was uh, suffering from comparison too. I used to compare myself to other people. People, my, my classmates that were successful, they had jobs, happy family. I used to compare myself and a lot of people are fighting comparison out here. And I would really like to help them because we are all the same. We are all the same. Inside, we are the same. When I'm speaking to you, I feel like I'm speaking to myself because we are all the same. From inside, I'm not different from Shaya. I'm not different from the Queen of England. We are <laughs> all the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are all the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. We are we are part of the all oneness. We're just a unique expression of God in the world, but in, in our core, we are the same, exactly the same. That is so beautiful. And I don't know about you, Martha, but who knows? Somebody listening to this interview today could be one of your future clients. But they say, I want to talk to Martha and just see, you know, what we can see together. And I want to thank you as we close the interview because your friendship means the world to me. And being able to speak with you on Thursdays with Harry and grandfather, it has touched my heart. I've learned so much. I see so much through your example. It's an inspiration to me. Um, it changed me, Martha, to know you. And it changed the way that I show up every day in my job. I'm different in a positive way because of you. And your light is a bright, shining example of the three principles and the power of the three principles. So thank you for your light and for your love and for being vulnerable today. It's not easy always to talk about um, our stories or what when we were in darkness, but for anyone listening, there's no shame in where you where you are. I've I've been in that place where I felt broken, where I felt like something was wrong with me, that I wasn't able to function here in this world. And it was when I came to the three principles that I saw that that wasn't true either. And so just to know if that's where you are, that's okay. Um, but there's a, a lighter, more beautiful experience on offer. And we hope very much that you'll find, um, find your way there. And Martha, like, I'd like to just let them know like where they can find some resources. Is that okay? So Martha mentioned uh, the three principal, uh, the three P Africa Facebook group. That was her first touch point. Um, there's also Harry's website with the Sahara books that um, Martha uses to teach the children in the orphanage um, that I'm using soon in a youth group where Martha's going to come and speak with the Austrian children. Um, you can download those books for free um, in English, in French, in Swahili, and soon in German. Um, some, some beautiful people are translating those texts. And we'll put those resources underneath this video so you can continue to uh, find out more about the three principles and reach out and let us know if you need help. And yeah, we're, we're there for them, aren't we, Martha? Do you have anything you want to say to close the interview? I'll let you, I'll let you close the interview today. 
Thank you. I want to close the interview with saying that we are all the same, just that we have separate realities. We are all the same. And when we let us feed our mind with the positive thoughts and our life will be easier and we will live in happiness. I'm very happy to be in this interview as a proud lady, proud mother, and I'm a proud coach. I am very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. See you on the next interview, guys. Bye. Bye.